Hello friends, welcome to the main toast mode. Today's topic is process control and process control loop. Today we are going to see what is process control and how the process control loop. So what is process control? Suppose a certain process is going in a process plant and um, this uh, process is disturbed by um, disturbing uh, outer disturbance like uh, uh, disturbance due to an increase in uh, demand of process product or disturbance due to the change in fuel efficiency then the control variables like uh, pressure flow level and temperature is changed and then the manipulated variables uh, should uh, change to bring in order to bring uh, the control variable back to its initial point or initial set points so this total process is called process control to control the process to the initial set point so this is the definition of the process control Process control is a series of operations that describe how much manipulated variables should change in order to bring the control variable back to the set point or set uh, value. Okay, so this is the definition of process control, and this is the process control loop. This is a set point, this is comparator, this is controller, this is actuator, this is final control element, this is error, and this is manipulating. Uh, signal, this is activating signal, this is process, this is disturbance, <coughs> this is the control variable like pressure, flow, level, and this is the measurement system, this is measured value. Okay, so what is uh, what is the work? Suppose this is a set point and there is certain value is uh, set. Okay, and when those, those value was changed due to disturbance, then the comparator compared the value of uh, measured value with the initial set point and then give the error that is the difference between the value with initial value and measured value to the controller and what is the controller controller is the brain of control system they take decision to maintain the process variable at its set point and it take many decisions to bring the uh, set point to the initial set points okay so this is the controller works and this is the manipulating signal which go to the actuator what is actuator actuator is driven at a rate determined by controller in response to a compression function called error this error is goes to the actuator and then it drives that driving okay and this is the actuating signal it goes to the final control element Final control element such as valve, conveyor, motor are used to take action for implementing the decision taken by controller. So all the all the blocks are used for the controller or do the work for the controller. So controller give the indication or direction to do those work, all the elements. And this is the process, and this is disturbance, outside disturbance, this is controller, control variable. So what is control variable? It is a variable. And uh, that must be controlled and maintained at same desired value. Okay. And what is manipulated variable? This is measured value, measurement value, or this is measured value. What is manipulated variable? It is a variable used to maintain the control variable at its set point. So, so the value goes to the measure system. Measurement system is like sensor, and it's the primary element. It gives the value. To the comparator or measure value to the comparator and comparator decides is the value is same or different and then the process is repeated okay so this is the work of process control loop okay i hope you will understand and it will be helpful for you and this is the theory behind each block i'm given the all the theories or uh, definition of each block if you can you can pause the video and write this theory this is very important for the examination okay okay friends thanks for watching my video